Students of uh, St. Charles Minor Seminary Senior High School in Tamale are struggling uh, for accommodation almost a year after fire ravaged some um, rooms. School authorities say the situation is affecting academic activities. Fire outbreaks were recorded in the school between 2017 and 2021. Dormitory blocks of the school were burned in the separate fire incidents. School authorities were compelled to convert a dining hall block and a classroom facility into dormitories. This structure, as small as it is, houses about 100 of the students. And according to some of the students, this poses some health challenges uh, to them. Staying inside here is just something I well, just managing. But this was not meant to be a dorm. This was a dining hall. Yes. But, due yeah, to the situations, but due to the situations in, in which we find ourselves, we have been forced to use this as a dormitory. Yes. We are crowded inside here. We are suffering a lot of diseases. And corona is still with us. So we are imagining if there should be an outbreak of corona here, what will happen? Imagine. We are suffering from chicken pox, all sorts of skin diseases here, because of how crowded we are inside here. So we are pleading on the government to come to our aid and help us. Over here in St. Charles, because of the constant burning, we, have, we don't even have a single structure that we can call a dormitory. As you can see, the get fun building here, it was supposed to be used as a classroom, but we can see through the doors and the nest that are inside, it's clearly used as a dormitory. Students don't have any place that they can call a dormitory, and it's really distracting because when you enter, the, when you enter these structures, this is a structure that is supposed to be used as a classroom and has all the classroom facilities, and it's really congested. Students are really congested inside, and this congestion cause, um, causes the, the, spread, the easy spread of contagious diseases. We've recently had cases of chicken pox, flu, all these things, and it's mainly because of the congestion of students. School authorities say the situation is affecting academic activities, including enrollment. The facility behind me was formerly used as a dormitory block. And this facility used to contain almost 600 students. But as of now, it's vacant. And as a result of this, dormitories is a challenge to the school. We have converted most of our classrooms into dormitories, even dining hall. And that even reduces our enrollment. We used to have about 800, 900 students, but currently our students are not even up to 600. For the PTA, who has been forgotten by government, two students arrested in connection to the fire outbreaks are facing prosecution. We don't have enough classrooms. The PTA put up a long block um, during the four years program era. And it was also set, part, part of it was set ablaze. So for now, we are actually in infrastructure crisis. We don't have, so we are crying onto the government that they should immediately come to our aid.